out and I'm like, I stop the car and I like don't know what to do and like it's on a school campus and I'm like, this sure there's rules about these things and uh, not that I because I've not hit a deer ever before and on a college campus, um, so I go and I like. The security comes around with their little siren. I'm like, you guys get the siren? There's like 800 people at the school. I don't think that's necessary. But uh, so he comes and they're like, we got to find the deer because the deer's not right in front of the car, which is awesome because it means it's still alive somewhere. Yeah, not awesome because it's crippled beyond belief. And it had like made its way off into like the, the beginnings of the woods and it had just stayed there and had fallen and was dying and it's what's not fun about that is if you don't know there's there's not a lot of deer hospitals um so there's nowhere to so much take the deer so it's sort of you just hanging around waiting for the park ranger to show up and, and shoot the deer and so we I don't know what to do and I go back to my girlfriend in the car who's like getting herself together and picking deer fur off of her coat. Um and uh yeah, and so I'm just like what do, what do we do? Do we stay? Do we you know, I feel like we have to stay, like I have to go with the deer and stay with the deer and because I just killed a deer but I didn't kill a deer but someone's gonna come kill the deer because I didn't and uh, so that was not fun and we stay and we wait and she waits with me because she's really sweet and uh, so yeah so you know we missed our dinner reservation and eventually he came and we had to watch the deer go down and that was not pleasant and uh, yeah so the I guess the moral of that story is uh, don't don't drive on Valentine's Day <laughs> <laughs> ever <laughs> I walked here <laughs>